Just wanted to say thank you for choosing the Kalefi 573 series uh, autofill combo. Just remember that you want to follow your local codes while doing this installation. One of the first things that you should notice when opening your 573 autofill combo is going to be the directions or the instructions. Uh, you're going to find two sets of instructions. One is going to be for the backflow preventer. The other one's going to be for the autofill. Make sure to read those. They're going to have pretty much everything you need. Uh, straight out of the box, you're going to find that the uh, autofill combo is pretty much ready to go as far as installation is concerned with a few exceptions. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that the union nuts that are going to be attached to the backflow preventer are good and tight. And then if you do have a uh, unit that comes with a gauge, the gauge will ship separately in another box. So uh, there's actually a plug that comes in the autofill that you're going to want to remove. When you put the gauge in, uh, you're going to want to use Teflon tape or some type of pipe dope to make a good seal. Uh, it is a quarter inch NPT threading, so pretty standard there. As far as installation goes, it's best practice to mount the unit in a horizontal pipe, just like I have here, but it can be mounted in a vertical pipe so long as the flow is facing downwards. You'll notice that on each device there is a flow arrow to indicate flow, so make sure to follow those accordingly. If you are mounting it in a horizontal pipe, you're going to want to make sure that the adjustment dial is facing up on the autofill and the vent of the backflow preventer is facing down. In an instance where the uh, autofill is upside down, it will accumulate debris and dirt inside the cartridge and it could cause problems. On the inlet of the backflow preventer, there is actually a screen to prevent large debris and uh, any type of garbage from entering the system. Uh, but it is going to be a best practice to make sure to flush out that water supply to make sure that you uh, get rid of the large stuff before it goes through your device. Um, by removing the union nut on the end of the backflow preventer, you can access that screen to clean it out as necessary. Necessary. Whether installing the unit in a vertical or horizontal application, you're going to want to make sure that the vent of the backflow preventer is open to the atmosphere. You're never going to want to plug that off. This vent has a threaded connection on it so that way you can connect up piping to take that vent to a floor drain or to a sink. This vent under normal circumstances can drip water so you're also going to want to make sure that the, you're not uh, dripping over top of anything sensitive like electronics or pumps or anything like that. From there, if uh, you do have consistent dripping out of that vent, uh, you can actually take apart the backflow preventer and clean it out. It's usually due to debris in the seals causing a little bit of leak by to come out of that vent. It's not an indicator of a bad check or a bad uh, backflow preventer, but it's just an indicator that the backflow preventer is doing its job. If it gets bad enough and your your feed water is that dirty, you could also actually clog up the autofill as well. The autofill, you can actually remove the, the cartridge of the autofill and clean that out, and if it's terribly bad, you can actually replace the entire cartridge as well. I would highly recommend installing isolation valves before and after the assembly. Uh, it would make things a lot easier should you ever need to remove the items out of the system, uh, so that way you don't have to drain everything out. Uh, from there, you're also going to notice on the bottom of the autofill a gray knob and that knob is just going to be a standard shutoff valve. Uh, it's going to be pretty standard righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Uh, with the uh, valve completely shut off, you're not going to get any feed from your supply into your system. Uh, and some people like that because they want to make sure that the, the system is pretty well isolated from your water feed. But if you do want to maintain a consistent pressure, you're going to want to make sure that that valve is all the way open. The autofill valve comes from the factory preset at 15 PSI or one bar but it's easily adjustable should you need to adjust that. On the top of the autofill, there is going to be a dial with a screw in the center. Uh, it's just a flat blade screwdriver that you're gonna use and you can use that to adjust your system pressure accordingly. From there, you can compare that system pressure by using the included gauge that comes on some models or you can uh, actually compare it to the, the gauge on the boiler. Most boilers do include one as well. Once you're ready to start filling, you're going to want to make sure to open up any isolation valves before or after the assembly and don't forget about that little guy on the bottom of the autofill. At that point, the autofill will start fast filling at up to 5 gallons a minute, uh, depending on your pressures, without having to flip any levers or anything like that. Uh, once you've reached your set point, uh, the fast fill will automatically stop flowing and you're all set. So if you do have any questions about our autofill or any of our other products, make sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or contact us directly. And thanks for watching.